Hello and welcome to the Be Encouraged, Be Inspired podcast with me, Kumbi Ayo Okonawo. My mission is to encourage and inspire you. And I'll be doing this through the Word of God from the Christian Bible and through life experiences to cheer you on, motivate you and support you. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hello, it's Kumbi here with another episode of the Be Encouraged, Be Inspired podcast. A new episode is published every Monday that includes words of encouragement or inspiration and prayer to uplift your spirit man and to spur you on. Happy Easter. Um, by the time this episode is published, it will be Easter Monday. Um, and I, for one, I am so grateful and I give all praise to God for the sacrifice that Jesus made on the cross for our sins so that man will no longer be separated from God and will have direct access to God and so that all who believe in Jesus Christ will not perish but have eternal life. In this episode, I want to share with you two truths that Jesus Christ's death on the cross points to. And these truths are redemption and forgiveness. Now, back in the Bible days, redemption was a price paid to gain freedom for a slave. By Jesus dying on the cross, he paid a price to release us from the slavery of sin. In the Old Testament, Forgiveness happened based on the shedding of the blood of an animal. But now we're forgiven on the basis of the shedding of Jesus' blood. Jesus died as the perfect and final sacrifice. So we no longer have to shed the blood of an animal to receive forgiveness for our sins. Thank you, God, for that. Thank you. Every time I think about this sacrifice that Jesus made on behalf of humanity, the enormity of it continues to blow my mind. And to be honest, I I don't think my human mind can ever fully grasp it. Um, But the, the, the little, as it were, (laughs) the little that I can grasp just completely blows my mind all the time all the time. I was having a chat with my sister the other day and we talked about how back in Jesus' time, people who were crucified could sometimes take days to die. So to speed up their death, their arms and legs were broken and then they were stabbed through the heart. But that didn't happen with Jesus. Jesus gave up his will and life And he gave it up fully to God. Um, In Luke chapter 23 verse 46, it says that Jesus called out or cried out in a loud voice saying, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. And after he had said this, he breathed his last. He gave up his spirit, freely releasing it from his body according to the plan of God. So, he didn't need to have to suffer for days or or have his death sped up by them breaking his arms and legs or stabbing him through the heart. He gave up his spirit willingly according to the plan of God and in fulfillment of the scripture in whole in the Old Testament. Amazing. Wow, just just so amazing. So 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 amazing. Whether you're a new Christian or whether you have been a Christian for many years, I want to encourage you today to to continue to hang on to Jesus no matter what life throws at you. In those seasons where things are tough and when even your resolve may be fading, please don't give up. Jesus understands everything that we're going through. Um... He took up all our sins, all our pain. He gave up his spirit so that we can live. He stayed on that cross for us. He died and he rose again. 
In Jesus, we are redeemed, forgiven, healed, and set free. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. My prayer for all of us is that we will never forget this love that God has for us. That he sent Jesus Christ to die on the cross for us. And when Jesus rose and went to be with him, he sent us the sweet, sweet Holy Spirit to be our companion in a time that we have here on earth. I mean, what a God. What an amazing God. I pray that we will never lose the wonder of the cross in Jesus' name. Before I finish this episode, I would like to read the words from the hymn, How Deep the Father's Love for Us, um, which is written by Stuart Townsend. How deep the Father's love for us, how vast beyond all measure, that he should give his only son to make a wretch his treasure. How great the pain of searing loss, the father turns his face away, as wounds which mar the chosen one bring many sons to glory. Behold the man upon a cross, my sin upon his shoulders. Ashamed, I hear my mocking voice call out among the scoffers. It was my sin that held him there until it was accomplished. His dying breath has brought me life. I know that it is finished. I will not boast in anything, no gifts, no power, no wisdom, but I will boast in Jesus Christ, his death and resurrection. Why should I gain from his reward? I cannot give an answer. But this I know with all my heart. His wounds have paid my ransom. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May he turn his face toward you and give you peace. I will catch you next week on another episode of the Be Encouraged, Be Inspired podcast. Take care. God bless.